I say your most important communication skill, you might think, oh, public speaking, handling questions, or you know, reading people's body language. And those are all important skills, but not the most important skill. Your most valuable communication skill is listening. Listening can make or break your relationships, both at work and at home. And the best example of a great listener is Oprah Winfrey. Let's talk about three strategies to quickly improve your listening skills, along with how Oprah uses those to draw out her guests. Number one, and I think most important, is focus all of your attention on the person that's speaking. That might sound obvious, but we're all so distracted all the time. We are horrible at focusing our attention on people. But Oprah maintains her attention. like She keeps her eyes directly on the person, and she will sometimes move forward in her chair to show that she's completely focused. Even though there are cameras all around her and their, you know, and her guest, and you know, people are just milling about, maybe there's a live audience, Oprah's attention remains directly on that person, and that's how she gets people to open up. Here's what you can do. Put your phone away, out of view. Even if your phone is just sitting there, it demands your attention. You and your guest, whoever you're speaking to, will be looking at it. Maintain eye contact and lean in to stay focused with the person. And when thoughts pop into your head along the way, just kind of gently nudge them away and return to the present moment. In my workshops, I have people just listen without responding. You know, one person will be talking, one person will be listening for like three minutes. A woman recently told me that she was listening. And when she was listening, it felt like time stood still. She was just sitting there listening to someone she'd worked with for three years. She noticed his eye color and she said she hadn't noticed it in three years they'd worked together. That's the power of being completely present. Number two, make an emotional connection. You know, Oprah shares her emotions with her guests and she asks emotion-based questions about how they're feeling. This creates deeper trust and elicits emotions from the people she's interviewing. Here's what you can do. Avoid the impulse to kind of respond and just sit there and listen. Try to understand where the person is coming from by like, looking at their body language and facial expressions. If you really pay attention to those, it will give you some sense of what's really going on in the total picture. And try to feel the emotions that are being expressed and at some point ask the person why they feel that way. And number three, show your empathy and understanding. Oprah will often restate in simple terms what her guest has said. You know, she kind of reinforces the message with her audience, but she's also letting the guest know that she understands and appreciates where they're coming from. So here's what you can do. Wait for the right moments to ask open-ended questions. Those are the questions that can't be answered yes or no, like, why do you feel that way? And then test your understanding by paraphrasing what you heard and asking if that's accurate. And then express an interest in learning more from the person, either at that moment or continuing this conversation in the future. Because unlike Oprah's guests, you have the chance to have a conversation and keep it going over days or weeks or even months to understand more about this person and to make a deeper connection. If you take action on only one of these tips, you will instantly improve your communications and listening skills. I mean, people will start to see you in a different way. There's a simple communication habit for you to start right away. Listen twice as much as you talk. One of my clients quotes his grandmother who told him, you have two ears and one mouth, so you should listen twice as much as you talk. I think that's really good advice. So start checking yourself. When it's time to listen to someone at work or at home, are you really there? I mean, listening makes or breaks relationships. It's that powerful. That's why it can be your most important communication skill. Don't worry about being perfect. Just make a start. Just listen. I'll see you next time for more Coffee with John.